So this is the lecture number two of our data warehouse architecture. And as I have told you in the last class that I will discuss decision support system. So in this class, I'll discuss decision support system and the terminologies related to it. Well, myself, Dr. Dibas Dibora. So what is it? What is decision support system? Decision support systems, or in short, DSS, are interactive software-based systems intended to help managers in decision-making by accessing large volumes of information generated from various related information systems involved in organizational business process like, you know, office automation system, transaction processing system. Okay. So, after all, you think DSS or decision support system is a kind of interactive software and it has been designed to help the managers okay, in the decision making process. The decision making process that will be done through accessing large volume of data that is being collected through different other systems like you know our office automation system, transaction processing system. Okay, so that is the first definition of DSS. Then one more definition I have bought that is a decision support system is a computerized program used to support determinations, judgments, and courses of action in an organization or a business. So these three terms, determinations, judgments, and course of action, they are basically the, you know, overall the decision-making process in a organization because you have to determine first and on the basis of your determination you need to judge and then according to your judgment you have to take some course of action related to some product or related to some uh, some different course of action okay so this determination judgment and course of action they have been they have been actually gathered through a decision support system. It sifts through and analyzes massive amount of data, compiling comprehensive information that can be used to solve problems to support such decision making process. So basically, you do uh, you do know that our decision support system a kind of computer program or computerized program or you can call it as a software that will help us throughout the process of determination, judgments and course of action in any decision making process but that is possible through analyzing a massive amount of data. Okay, so that is second definition. I hope these two definitions now clears your concept about what is decision support system. Got it. So, then whether it is same as our ordinary operations application or not, of course, something, some different problem exists for which we design this decision support system. It differs from an ordinary operations application. And you know, in case of ordinary operations applications, we use that only to collect data. But a decision support system, we work on that data. We work on that massive amount of data to find out some knowledge out of the data regarding or that organization's future perspective from the profit point of view. Clear? So it allows for more informed decision making timely problem solving and improve efficiency in dealing with issues or operations, planning and event management. Of course, when you make a good decision, when you are in a 
company, in a big company, and you say, say you are the manager, you are at the higher level of administration. So your decision actually going to matter a lot for that company. And that decision you cannot make rapidly. You have to analyze the data of that company. Okay, that data that had been collected by different employees of that company, either related to some particular product or some profit or loss point of view. So by analyzing those amount, massive amount of data, you have to make a right decision. Right decision for timely problem solving, improve efficiency in dealing with some issues. So those things you cannot do or perform with the help of an, uh, you know, ordinary operations applications. For that, you have to rely on a good decision support system. Okay. Now, here I have uttered this term decision making. You see that this is in big. Okay, I am keeping it in big and big font and bold. So, what is this? What is what does it mean by decision making? As this 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 is the lecture series on our data mining and data warehouse basically. So we'll go through each of this term in depth. Okay, and actually that is going to help us a lot. So I am going to deal with each and every terminals that we'll find throughout this different discussion series. Okay. So first now, first you have to know that what is decision making? What does it mean by decision making? Okay, so look at this picture. One person says that you take this turn. One person says, this says that he is pointing this direction. So you are now being confused. Either to take left direction, right direction or left direction. So you have to make a good decision, otherwise wrong turn may happen. I hope you all guys know about the movie Wrong Turn. When you take a wrong turn, of course you are going to be in problem. So whenever you are a very, whenever you are at very good or higher level of administration, your decision should be correct enough because that decision will matter a lot about that campaign. Okay, and this, this guys, this, these things all are practical, what I'm discussing now, what I'm talking, because all these things are related to a particular decision-making process in a company. Uh, either it is your, you can say MSME or a kind of blue ship company. Okay, so let's see. In psychology, decision-making is regarded as the cognitive process resulting in the selection of a belief or a course of action among several possible alternative options. So this definition speak up a lot about this decision making. First of all, this is a cognitive process. Now you tell me through a comment, what do you mean by cognitive process? Well, don't worry. So this is the first time so I'm telling it to you. Cog cognitive process means those processes which are related to make some decision throw your brain. Okay, obviously some neurons are involved in this case. So those course of action that you are going to take, that will have some another possible alternatives. Obviously when we need to make decision, if there is only one way Say, see in this figure, if there is only one way, you don't need to make the decision. You can take the decision, you just move through that way. Okay, if you think that that is the only way, then you can move. But when there are two different ways, in such cases, you have to make decision. So ultimately, what I mean to say that there will be some alternative options for every course of action, then only your cognitive process of choosing that right option or right decision, making that right decision, is the decision-making process. Our psychology discipline defines it very well. So decision-making is the process of identifying and choosing alternatives based on the values, preferences, and beliefs of the decision-maker. 
right? You can note down this definition. Okay, always try to note down the important things that I'm pointing out. Now, again, we have two different types of decision and this is very important. Okay, this is very important with respect to tactical point of view. You have to know it. So, programmed and non-programmed decisions. These are the two different types of decisions. Let's see each of them with example. Okay. See, look at this. This is decision. It may be either a programmed decision or a non-programmed decision. Let me show you one more thing. That is uh, types of decision.